What's that one disgusting thing that everybody except you, seems to like? Pictures with babies being gross, like with spaghetti all over their faces and that sort of thing. I do not get the appeal and doubt I ever will. Those mukbang videos that have millions of views. One of my work colleagues. He's the biggest douchebag and poser ever but except me everyone seems to like him. Those social media videos of food being made with so much heavy and greasy shit. You know, the type where it's a whole burger, cooked into a quesadilla with a pound of cheese, then fried and covered in three different sauces. Lip injections. You look like a clown. I don't get it. Whenever these types of questions come people will always say anything related to butts lol. Mega tall burgers that nobody could actually eat and burgers completely covered in cheese or sauce. If you can't taste everything in a single bite, your recipe, preparation is wrong. Big burgers should be wider, not taller. You've got a big burger offering. Break it down into multiple burgers. Same amount of food. Do you have a shitload of melted cheese to offer? There are better ways than dousing a foot tall burger in melted cheese if you plan on people to eat it instead of just sharing it on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Zit, cyst etc. Popping videos. Social media validation. Edit, ha. The irony is not lost on me. Now stop validating me guys. Killing my image here. Games designed to be addictive instead of fun to suck money out of you. I like my addictive games to be designed to be as fun as possible with a one-time upfront payment. Thank you very much. I could buy 10 absolutely amazing masterpieces I could spend tens of hours with per game and remember them for decades for the price of a bunch of energy and cosmetics in some shitty mobile game with a dev budget lower than the coffee budget of the advertising department. Celebrity gossip. People. Reality. TV shows. People that let dogs lick their mouths. OMFG. What is wrong with them? They'll often quote some bullshit urban myth about dogs having sterile saliva or some such self-deceiving rubbish so they can feel okay about their perverse desire to tongue-kiss dogs. Well, I know I can't be the only one that finds them disgusting, but long fake nails. Unless you have a serious case of handwashing OCD, there is no way that can be hygienic. People who slam their friends' faces into birthday cakes. Just stop. Clipping your nails anywhere outside of your house. If you are in a nail salon that makes sense. But if you are at work, on the bus. Just don't. Anything Kardashian. Funny. Videos of people or animals puking. Some people legit think that's funny. No it's fucking festy. Tiger King. The guy is a sociopath who manipulated two young straight men into a sexual relationship. Which ended in one of them committing suicide. Then he had the audacity to give the most tasteless eulogy in front of the guy's family. He's a predator and I'm shocked that more non-straight and non-monogamous people aren't speaking up against him being released and getting more screen time. Kissing dogs on their mouth, or dogs licking their mouth. ASMR. Life. Alcohol. Licking buttholes. Whiskey. I have so many friends who love it, but the moment it touches my tongue I gag immediately, regardless of how expensive it is. Edit. Whoa, my first award. Go figure it would be for something that makes me gag. Thank you for sympathizing kind stranger. Brother, sister, family porn. E -w 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 -w. Febreze, air fresheners. Gender reveal parties. Smoking. Oysters, cockles, abalone and all other snotty textured seafood, yuck. Pictures with babies. Or parents creating Facebook profiles in the name of their children, and that children are like. Three years old, or less. Mukbang. Anal. Being drunk, drinking. I DK I tried being drunk once and didn't like it. I like being in control of my actions 24 sevenths. Calling people baby and daddy, who the fuck wants the image of their dad or child during sex. Celery. Absolutely hate it, can tolerate it dried or teeny tiny pieces in something like stuffing. But often people put giant chunks in soups and it's face vomiting out of everyone I've met. Only one friend ever shared the same distaste for it. Twerking. Not sorry. It's extremely unattractive. Boiled okra. Okay this is a special. Southern answer to this question. Deep fried butter and deep fried mayonnaise. It sounds so gross but everyone seems to eat it at state fairs or amusement parks. Truffles. The smell makes my stomach turn. I feel like there has to be some kind of bizarre conspiracy or truffle gatherer lobby or something for them to be so expensive. Bananas. The smell of ripe bananas makes me want to throw up. I have not met anyone else that dislikes ripe bananas. Edit. I have found my people. Celebrity worship. Anyways this title needs another comma. Confusing AF. 
Any meat that comes in a can. Fucking gross nauseated face. Blue cheese, followed by lamb. Both, equally, leave a disgusting aftertaste that gasoline couldn't get rid of. Having your face come on. It's just not very appealing to me. Tick tock. Gaping. Beer. I've tried every type from IPA to lager to ale. I even work in a bar that prides itself in having over 100 different kinds, brands, whatever of beer. It all tastes bad, like watery bitterness with very little difference in flavor. Oh, you're saying that cool new blueberry beer really tastes like blueberries? No it doesn't, why would you lie to me like this? I was looking forward to the taste of blueberries combined with some carbonation and a hint of alcohol, but all I got was blue bitter carbonated shit with a lingering sense of betrayal. This is why I stick to cocktails and ciders, cause at least that shit has flavor. Edit. Spelling because I got too wrapped up in my fiery zeal towards my hatred of fermented wheat juice. YouTube Shorts.